Well, hello. We are we are live here on Midnight Cherry TV. Hmm. Live here. We're live. L I V E E. Midnight Cherry TV. Of course, if you've been keeping up with the channel, uh, we are reseeding the CG Grift tournament over on uh, the Outer Pangea Wiggle Wiggles channel from uh, the old Testify uh, group of folks. Now, one of the things I got to say before we get started, I want to. You know, I kind of, I'm starting to kind of warm up to Wiggle Wiggle, guys. You know, he 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 has, uh, even though he hangs out with uh, people like Dark Rift and uh, some other comics type people, I will say it seems like he's uh, he's reached the point where he's not going to buy comics anymore. He's kind of done with supporting the comics trade. And of course, here at Midnight Cherry TV, that's what I support. I don't want anyone to buy comics anymore. Uh, we need to kind of force most comic creators into homelessness um, as well as maybe sterilization. But uh, that's kind of what we want to do here at Midnight Cherry TV. But today, today is a different story. We're reseeding. We reseeded the brackets. They're on here for a big reveal here in a little bit. But right here, what I have in these uh, these eight slips of paper, I have eight play-in brackets. Now, if you're unfamiliar with uh, NCAA basketball March Madness sports tournaments, if you're if you're a nerd and you're unfamiliar with sports tournaments, uh, usually the the way it works with some of these tournaments nowadays, even the NBA playoffs, is there's a playing game, a playing bracket. Uh, you know, teams that are right on the right on the cusp, uh, you know, right on the right on the level, can play in to the main bracket. But today, since the bracket is already done, the original creators of the bracket, the chat of Wiggle Wiggle Outer Pangeus channel, they did not re, they did not uh, add in any anybody extra for the playing brackets. So what I've done today is I've created eight separate brackets, but the different grifts, the different grifts that people may have. So we've got a couple different grift mini brackets to get through here. Of course, I want to show you we got we got this uh, basketball piggy bank right here. Uh, this has uh, it, the contents of this bank is uh, all the money I'll ever spend on comics again. As you can see, there's nothing, nothing in there. So so again, don't spend money on comics, guys. Avoid these grifters, uh, whether they're, they're purely comics grifters, pure comic grifters, you got to avoid. But you got to also look out for those combination, those combo guard grifters. Like in the NBA or in soccer, you might have a player who can play both ways, play play offense, defense, play, uh, you know, different styles of basketball. Whether basketball, they can play a small forward and a power forward or power forward and center. Maybe they're a guard of a point guard, shooting guard, combo guard. Well, in that regard, we have uh, grifters who are combinations of a lot of different grifts. So we want we want to make sure we specify what kind of grift that uh, the the person competitor uh, will get, will be representing in the uh, the main bracket of sixty four here. Uh, shout out to Big Steve in the chat coming here earlier, but uh, let's check out the JDA bracket. Let's, let's start off strong, guys. Now, of course, JDA is a number one seed, so this is a pretty big uh, little playing bracket here. Now, of course, uh, this is the this is my Midnight Cherry TV uh, view of uh, what the uh, you know this is my tournament winners, guys. Now, I think I'm an expert. I think this is the true uh, representation of the Grift champions. Once we get to the finale, uh, but the way I look at it, guys, is uh, is I'm just going to pick the winners here, uh, as any expert should. Let's see, we got uh, Jay coming in for the win. Testify the greatest power forward of all time. Possible. Possible. Uh, Outer Pangea, just in time. Fantastic. He made it, guys. Wiggle, wiggle in the chat. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the JDA bracket. We have uh, Pro Comics Gate version one JDA. Now, that's pre uh, schism uh, due to his Vox Day war campaign connection. So, we're talking early grift. We're talking uh, flying sparks. We're talking uh, early. Hispanic author, science fiction author, JDA Grift. That's an early, early Grift. Uh, versus anti-war campaign, pro comics gate, JDA. Now that's kind of your your V2, your version two JDA. He's he's anti-war campaign. He he's not a, he doesn't like war campaign, but he still he likes comics gate. Now that's kind of a weird, a weird JDA. And then you have a uh, pro comics gate. Version two JDA. Now that's your more modern. That's your more modern JDA. Your uh, 
you know, he's streaming with EBS. He's streaming with the uh, the Kangs, uh, the, all all the big time grifters. Uh, that's kind of your your version two JDA. And then we got anti comics gate JDA. That's when he was uh, featuring Sashi artwork, uh, Vicky verse uh, characters. Uh, you know, messaging messaging myself Midnight Cherry TV on the on the Twitters. Uh, but that's your that's your ter- your JDA bracket. Let's go. Let's see. I gotta go. I got to go Pro CG version 1 JDA. So we're going to go Pro V1 here. So anti-war campaign Pro Comics Gate JDA Grifter out of out of the bracket. Uh, Pro Comics Gate version 2 versus anti-Comics Gate JDA. Uh, to me, honestly, I feel like Pro CG version 2. Uh, just that's a quality grift, guys. You know, he came back. He was anti-Comics Gate for a long time. JDA flip-flopping. Flip flopping, uh, just like uh, you know, just like any of those top quality grifters. Now, of course, he is uh, the Hispanic science fiction's largest white beater. If I've got that correct, but uh, I'm not sure. So we got Pro CG version one, Pro CG version two. We're gonna fly through these little mini brackets. Let's see. I, I gotta go Pro CG version two. So your modern day, your modern day. JDA. So Pro Comics Gate version two. JDA is your winner of the JDA mini bracket. So JDA mini bracket done. Let's take a little sip of the liquid. Let's check on the chat here. We got uh yeah, JDA got a perfect 10 score in every grift. Yeah, definitely, definitely big Steve. Uh, yeah, had that great Hispanic grift, you know. Uh JDA's evolved over the years. Uh, you know, this, this, you know, J- JDA's final form, exactly. Revenge of JDA. Uh, you know, just high, high quality grift, guys. High quality grifter. You know, I think JDA, he is number one seed for a reason. Uh, you know, there's a reason uh, UConn, Kansas, these teams always seem to uh, be a top seed, UConn, et cetera. But let's check out uh, Griff to mini bracket playing bracket number two. We got Vicky verse bracket. The Vicky verse bracket. Now she's a she's a 15 seed, 16 seed, 15 seed, I believe. But this is the Vicky verse bracket right here. We got uh, spot one. We got Vicky with DA talks. Now, of course, a lot of us so uh, we, we like DA talks. So Vicky with DA talks. Uh, the bracket against uh, Vicky Pro Comics Gate uh, version. Now that's an old school, early OG version of Vicky when she was a pro comics gate fighting what I would what I would imagine is her final form here you never know with Vicky with the with DA talks you might find another co-host someday who knows they might find another co-host himself the Vicky anti-comics gate now that's uh, kind of your your uh you know your late you, you know pre pre DA talks you know kind of uh you know around town maybe hanging out in the cherry chats that's kind of the Vicky uh, anti CG seed, and then of course, Vicky with Preston is your other seed. So, I think we got to go. Uh, I think we got to go Vicky, Vicky with DA. I think we got to go Vicky with uh, with DA, you know, as a as a as a competitor right there. And then, I think as far as as far as the Vicky Griffs, as uh, you know, if you're if you're putting Vicky on the Griff scale, I got to go Vicky, uh, kind of the uh, with Preston. You know, I think Vicky with with an additional uh, sort of male presence, uh, as sexist as that may sound, uh, I think uh, is kind of a preferred preferred Vicky to most. I think most people that used to like Vicky or people that like Vicky now, I think they either like DA or they either like Preston. And that's kind of uh, that's where Vicky falls. Sad, sad for Vicky, but. And I think we gotta go Vicky with DA talks as the is the final form. So 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 far, guys, two kind of straight chalk uh, victories here. We got JDA final form, and then uh, Vicky with DA talks as corner of your Vicky verse mini bracket. That's your that's your champion for there. We got we got two. We got uh, let's see. We got uh, Vicky has really come a long way since Big Steve. Big Steve misses Vicky with Preston. Yeah, see that was that was an exciting time. That was a different kind of time. You know that was it's kind of like Gonzaga if you if you're if you're an NCAA fan here for me for a second you know kind of you know with Preston she was that mid major that small school looking for 
looking for that upset victory, you know, looking for that Cinderella, that Cinderella run. And then uh, I think with DA, she's kind of, she's playing, she's, she's, she's a major conference member, you know, but not, not on the top echelon, you know, she might be like a, a Arizona, you know, she's gonna, she's gonna be a top, top within her, within her market, within her conference, but maybe, uh, maybe not uh, at the top, like she was as a mid-major. That's kind of, I would say, uh, Vicky Preston versus Vicky uh, DA. Uh, Vicky Dane with Powerful Force. Uh, Big Big Steve says uh, Vicky kind of fell off. Yeah, you know, kind of, uh, yeah, some different, different, differing thoughts on, uh, on Vicky. But uh, let's, let's take a look. We got, we got eight brackets to get through. And then, and then the final bracket, let's take another look. We got Matt Barr bracket. The Matt Barr bracket. We got the, I always never know how to say his name. Of course, uh, one, of, one of Vicky's uh, fans over there just coming in to, the, to see the Vicky bracket. But uh, the Matt Barr bracket, a couple different options for your Matt Barr bracket here. We got the UN artist Matt Barr. Now, that's, of course, when he was uh, working that working that UN art with the uh, former NFL player Grift, or uh, however you may look at it, Pro EBS Barr. That's kind of your uh, <clears throat> one of your more recent Matt Bars, but not the most recent Matt, Matt Barr. Then we got the Slumlord Bar, Slumlord Matt Bar. Now that's kind of, you know, really kind of when he's hanging out with Dark Griff, hanging out with some of these other people. Uh, that's kind of your low level Matt Bar. And then Anti EVS Bar, the Anti EVS Matt Bar, uh, kind of uh, bordering, bordering an Anti Comiscape Matt Bar. But uh, let's, let's take a look. I think I got to go, I got to go pro EVS Matt Bar. You know, he's, he's trying to make that bank. He's, he's hooking up with, uh, you know he's hooking up with uh, with EVS, so that's kind of going to be a top a top grift. Even though the UN guys yeah, worked worked a little you work for the UN there. Uh, Slumlord Matt Barr was anti EVS bar. I got to go anti EVS bar. So this is this is a big matchup within the Matt Bar conference, the Matt Bar bracket. So we've got the pro EVS Matt Bar versus anti EVS Matt Bar. Uh, who should go forward in the bracket? I got to go. I got to go pro EVS Matt Barr. I think, you know, he's working the, he, when he's playing the sides, he's playing that dark grift uh, fence, but really it's not a fence. He's, he's really firmly on one side, but when he's playing that fence level, you know, I think, uh, you know, let's see outer Pangea in the chat saying uh, outer uh, saying uh, anti EVS Matt Barr. Uh, but I think, I think pro EVS Matt Barr is the larger grift. You know, I think uh, the further he pulls away from EVS, the more comics he will uh, get done and complete. Uh, we already, I already see that in his channel, he, uh, in your channel, he's doing a lot of art streams. So it seems like uh, that that pro VS Matt Bar is really your top top level kind of grift merchant within the Matt Bar bracket. Now, of course, uh, your mileage may vary on Matt Bar, but uh, let's let's take a look at the next bracket. Let's fly through these. We're we're almost halfway through the brackets. Uh, playing for their for their final form, we got the, the Risey bracket. Our our boy Risey Lee uh, from uh, from Australia, guys. But we got four different Risey Lees. We got uh, Girl Clicks Risey. Now, if you're not familiar with old school, old school, I'm OG Risey supporter. Uh, back in the day, he used to paint custom paint Hero Clicks. Risey Lee, our boy. Uh, versus a uh, comic skate rising. Now that's what the uh, Hero Clicks Risey sort of eventually became the comic skate Risey in that bracket. And then we have the anti comic skate Risey versus the cherry Risey. Now some people might consider this the same Risey, but it's different, guys. It's different. I, you know, I was never really hanging out with a lot of the people that he hung out with uh, within the anti comic skate realm. I was sort of my own person. But uh, you know, this is a tough one, guys. This is a tough one. We got. Uh, yeah, we got a close game. Risey Lee is the best of us. Uh, someone explain the tournament to Risey again, says Tree Goblin. I'm sure. Well, it's Australia. They don't have they don't have college basketball. Well, they might, but I think most of their players probably come over here uh, to our universities uh, to make their way to the pros. But uh, Hero Clicks Risey versus CG Risey. I gotta go. Oh boy, you know I gotta go CG Risey. CG Risey, uh, you know, 
for the win there. Uh, then we got anti CG rising versus cherry rising. And, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to put cherry rising down. I would love to put cherry rising down, but I think just the amount of comic book creators that rising hung out with during his anti CG days uh, makes him a winner in this competition guys. So, uh, you know, we got the uh, comic skate rising versus anti comic skate rising and I've got to go. Oh, boy. You know, I got to go anti comic skate rising, you know. Uh, I think that uh, that's kind of your, you know, your most uh, kind of combustible risey Lee was when he was hanging out with comic book creators that were maybe someone you want to support, but they were still kind of grifters. I think Rising knows what I'm talking about. You you just can't trust a comic book creator. And so I think, uh, you know, anti comic Gate Rising was kind of, he was, he was combustible. He was. He was in a different mind space. I think, uh, you know, I think I got to go anti comic state Risey as uh, the winner of the Risey bracket. So another winner here. Let me drink out of my uh, giant oversized basketball uh, mug. Mm. Delicious. <clears throat> so let's see what we got here. We got we have four brackets left. We're halfway done with the bonus brackets. Uh, here on Midnight Cherry TV, the, 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 uh, the re-bracketing of the uh, the grift pro grift tournament over there on uh, on outer Pangea. Yeah, tough, tough choice. CG Risey expected to win that matchup. Yeah, I agree, Big Steve. I think I think if you look at the the sort of history of the tournament so far with Matt Barr and uh yeah, Ch Cherry Risey didn't uh, didn't take money, you know. So, you know. I have the drive to uh, bring home the big ones. And then we got uh, Big Steve. He's, he's seen the next bracket. Uh, the big, <laughs> I feel my autism surging. Uh, he's seen the next bracket, guys. We got the Sheila Aliens bracket. Old, old, uh, well, escort Sheila, escort bra uh, aliens bracket. We got four different Sheilas. Now, Sheila has been around the internet block, guys. Just as she has been around the block in real life. She has been around the internet block. And so we got four different Sheilas competing for the ultimate form, the ultimate conference champion. One shining moment, guys, for the Sheila conference champion we're about to see here. We've got the uh, alien obsessed Sheila. Now, of course, that's still, she's still alien obsessed, but this is kind of the UFO conspiracy OG back in the day, uh, Sheila aliens. Uh, versus the Red Bar Radio Sheila Aliens. Now, if you're not familiar, Red, uh, Red Bar Radio, a large internet uh, kind of comedy, uh, sort of poking fun at comedy, comedy roasting, a little internet podcast empire, Mike David, comedian. Now, he, he's got Sheila Aliens as one of his hardcore fans, making clip channels and whatnot, so that's a bit of a grift there herself. Uh, the next bag, we got Comicsgate Sheila versus Escort Sheila. So this is a tough one. Comiscate Sheila versus Escort Sheila. That has got to be the kind of biggest matchup of the playing bracket tournament. That is two, two top grips. Uh, you're either chasing the nerd Comiscate money or chasing the desperate uh, men money. Those are two big grips. I think I think anybody who follows the, the grift, the grift wars has to respect that that is a huge matchup. That's a huge, they're almost deserving of two entries into the main bracket, but there can only be one, I think. Boy, now see, here's the thing. I'll say a caveat. Now, if she has slept with JDA, I think CG Sheila would win. But if JDA paid for it, then Escort Sheila would win. So really, it depends. What was the reasoning? If she if she slept with JDA, which is what they say on the streets. Uh, you know, was it for love of comics and the comics grift, or was it for love of money? Uh, and are both the same? And boy, it's uh, whew. boy, oh boy, wow. I'm gonna come back to that. I'm gonna come back to that. That's how difficult this is, guys. That's how difficult this is. Just the play in brackets, that's the kind of quality competition we have here on Midnight Cherry TV. Uh, you know, I think, I think. You know, Sheila Alien, I think the Alien Sheila, I think, has got to beat the Red Bar Red Bar Radio Sheila. 
uh, you know, sad day for Red, Red Bar Radio fans out there, I'm sure, uh, for all you Scars Club members out there. But uh, Sheila Aliens beat the Red Bar Radio grift, Sheila Aliens. And, of course, she was only doing clip channels, sending messages, kind of being part of the community there. Back to the, the challenge of the tournament so far. Oof. You know, I've got to go escort Sheila, guys. I've got to go escort Sheila. Probably, you know, possibly upset of the playing bracket tournament. Um, but let me explain my rationale here, guys. Let me explain, uh, you know, how this goes down in my mind. And at the end of the day, if uh, if the the sort of uh, championship pedigree of an escort Sheila didn't exist. We would not have a comics gate Sheila willing to sleep with JDA for comics. So whether she slept with JDA for comics or for money, I think at the end of the day, uh, the money reasoning is really the OG reasoning. And then it would have allowed her to sleep with JDA for, for, for comics, which really was just a money grift anyway. So, and I think Escort Sheila has to win at that point. I think Escort Sheila is your winner. In the Sheila Aliens bracket, uh, the Sheila Brasket, Sheila Bracket Escort Sheila is your winner of the Sheila Aliens bracket. But let's see what we got in the chat here. Oh boy, yeah, CG Escort. Uh, I want to see those two Grift Titans slug it out. Uh, Alien Sheila Escort Sheila. They did. They did slug it out. Uh, did he pay for it? You know, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, JDA not got paid his grift is that strong. That is a strong grift. If he slept with Sheila and also got paid because of it, uh, grifted her right out of her pants. JDA got paid. Oh my god, serious nerding right now. But the escort Sheila deep lore, deep lore guys out there. Probably my cherry TV fans. We got we got three. Mini brackets to go. We're, we're 20 something minutes in. It, it, this is almost, you know, a long stream. Uh, but but if you want to see the outer Pangea streams, those are those are four or five hours long. So so we're doing an abbreviated version of the cherry version. We've got the cider hype bracket, guys. Bringing back uh, the testify ranking seedings. We got the cider hype bracket. Got the comic, uh, let's see, comic creator cider. Now that's your uh, when he made when he created his trans comic, uh, trans based comic. Uh, that would be the comic creator cider uh, versus the testify cider. Now that's of course the cider we're doing the puppets, uh, trying to do electronic music DJ various uh, bits, bits and jokes. Uh, then we got work campaign cider, also known as Cindy, I believe was the female version that he had for work campaign. Uh, versus JDA cider. Now that's the current form of uh, of cider hype, uh, kind of the the JDA supporter. Now, of course, we know the the grift is strong with JDA. It's almost like like you have University of Texas, and then you have Texas San Antonio, or Texas University of Texas Dallas, or University of Texas Houston, or you might have uh, Western Michigan versus Eastern Michigan. Uh, you know, you have Ohio State, and then you have Ohio University. So they're they're connected, they're related, they're they're close enough. That's why you have the JDA cider picking up a lot of strong energy. And I think we've got to be, I think we gotta put JDA cider. That's your current present form. I think the grip is strong with uh, the JDA cider. And then we got comic creator cider versus testify cider. Oh boy, you know, I think I think testify cider has to lose because you know it seemed like he really wasn't in it for the grift, he was in it for the jokes. Um, you know, I think, I think back in the day, the cider hype on testify related was really for the joke, not the grift. Uh, we may, we may differ in opinion, but who knows? We'll, we'll never know. And then we got, uh, comic creator cider hype versus JDA cider hype guys. And I think, you know, the, the, this is JDA's year to lose. Um, and I think that, you know, his, his presence is strong throughout the tournament with both the uh, Sheila cider. You know, the cider bracket, we got the JDA cider version. Uh, and of course, <clears throat> you know, pretty good so far. We got we got two brackets left. Um, <laughs> Big Steve sweating out there. Uh, let's see. 
Mother of Grift is uh, is strong. Uh, JD hasn't taken any L's so far. So far, no. He did lose. He, he did have three different versions. We got a course, guys. <laughs> Bring it back. Bring it back, old school. We're talking about deep floor here at Midnight Cherry Team. We got the <clears throat> Nasser bracket. We got the Nasser bracket, guys. The old school Nasser bracket. We got Comics Gate Nasser versus uh, Cherry Nasser. And we got Anti Comics Gate Nasser versus. Uh, re comics gate Nasser. That's that's Nasser comics gate volume two. That's where he came back, turned against a lot of his old uh, supporters, uh, old fans and friends. Uh, I gotta go. I gotta go. You know, I think Cherry Nasser. I think uh, you know. I think he saw a bit of a grift trying to team up with me, trying to uh, get on my good graces. And I think it didn't work out for him because I, I don't really. I'm not gonna give anybody money. Uh, anti confiscate Nasser versus uh, Reconfiscate Nasser. Of course, that's that CGV2 Nasser, I think, uh, for the win. Then Cherry Nasser versus Confiscate version 2 Nasser. And of course, I think in the way that that beat the Cherry Nasser in real life, I think uh, Confiscate V2 Nasser, that's one of your most recent Nassers, uh, sort of a uh, grifting with the pedophile Vic King. Saw that vampire comic. He teamed back up with Donald DeLay, who he uh, said was stealing his money. So flip-flop, flippity-flop, Nasser, Comiscate version 2, winning the Nasser bracket. So we got one playing bracket left, guys. We got the five, six viewers out there live. Check it out live. Of course, this is uh, you know good for content later as well. You don't need to watch it live because it's, it's all about me filling out the, filling out the things. Yes, yeah, Stu Nasser was a weird grift, says uh, Outer Pangea. That was a weird grift, guys. You know, beep boop Nasser uh, done. Yeah, Stu Nasser was a weird grift. Uh, <laughs> Tree Goblin says, try explaining this bonus round to Risey Wiggle. Correct. And last but not least, of course, guys, we have the uh, John Diller bracket. The John Diller. John Dillard bracket, last but not least, the Dillard bracket here as one of the eight play-in brackets that we just completed. Uh, we've got uh, Pro Comics Gate Dillard versus uh, Christian Grift Dillard. No, the Anti Comics Gate Dillard versus the Hispanic Grift Dillard. So, uh, you know, uh, you know who's going to win? I, oh boy. Pro CG Dillard versus Christian Grift Dillard. I got to go Pro CG Dillard. You know, I think when he's uh, when he's kind of really uh, pro mailing pro EVS, that was a early classic version of Dillard. We got anti Comiscate Dillard versus uh, Hispanic Grift Dillard. I think the Hispanic Grift Dillard is going to win that one. You know, I think. Uh, no, in the last we got Hispanic Grift Dillard versus pro Comiscate Dillard. Uh, I think I think the Hispanic Grift Dillard. Uh, now, of course, now I, I do relate, you know, taking care of his family, struggling, uh, take care of the kids and everything. That is part of the Hispanic grift, if you weren't aware, for Dillard. The, the, uh, that, that's racist as Manticore. I don't know. It's the Hispanic grift. Hispan Dillard's Hispanic grift is the version of Dillard that won the Dillard Conference Championship bracket, guys. There it is right there. So all eight brackets. We can put it in the history... History books, guys. One shining moment here. We got the Dillard bracket, the Nasser bracket, the Cider Hype bracket, the Sheila, Risey Lee, Matt Barr, Vicky Verse, and of course, JDA. Quality brackets complete. Uh, but let's let's take a look, guys. Uh, we got we're, we're almost 30 minutes in. We're about to look at the main bracket real quick. Let's see what we got. We got uh. Uh, that'll be the lulls in itself, exactly. That's uh, that's ways. Uh, you know, it might be Hispanic Rift. Always been a fan. I, you know, sometimes the Hispanic Rift is a good one. We might have our first Latinx tournament winners. Uh, I think that's a possibility, Big Steve. But uh, but guys, I want you to be excited. I want you to get excited. I want you to take. You know, if you need to, you need to get up for a moment. You need to take a little bit of a, of a rest, a break. You know, if you need to be ready for, uh, you know, uh, the the main tournament display, uh, we're, we're put everything in the record books for now. 
Got a little bit of a drink here in the mm, get myself hydrated, you know, get a little bit of a, a little bit of caffeine, you know, you know, get the popcorn ready. You know, the play in brackets, that's that's just some easy peasy. Uh, you know, that's just some 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 minor bracketology. But uh, but who will be the true winner of the tournament? But also who will be the Cinderella of the tournament? You know, in basketball, we call it the uh, the March Madness uh, Cinderella. The Cinderella run, who will be this year's Grifterella? So so put your votes in now for who this year's Grifterella. Who will be the Grifterella run of the tournament? Who will be that surprise Elite Eight Final Four competitor for the Pro CG tournament? We're about we're about to take a look, guys, of the unveiling, and here it is. There it is, guys. There is the 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 Comics Gate Griffs Beer uh, Giant Bracket Giant Bracketology uh, Four Brackets here, each with their one through sixteen seeds. Uh, the CG Griffs Beer. Uh, here on this giant uh, giant tournament bracket, uh, look at this motherfucking bad boy right here, guys. Look at the tournament lineup. Look at this one shining moment, guys. As uh, the NCAA basketball theme song says, uh, some real big, big time competitors uh, here in the giant tournament bracket. CG Grisper tournament, guys. Uh, I want you to look in awe of that. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna be exciting. I want you to think about it. Uh, we're gonna, you know, I'm, I'm getting some more beverage here. You sit down. Look at this. Let's take a look at the chat. Uh, we got Critias, Lee, and Mandy. You know, uh, Outer Pangea says, "Whoa, Manticore! Don't think he'll contain himself." You know, must explain to Risey. Uh, you know, we got uh, Captain Finney made the list. Of course, everybody that made the list is from, uh, you know, uh, it's from the Outer Pangea original CG Grip tournament. So if you haven't seen that yet, guys, the uh, the the original videos, it's it's a it's a long video. Hopefully, we get a uh, hopefully Wiggle can produce sort of a, a uh, <laughs> edited version of uh, of the winner. We're trying to figure out a winner, guys. You know, this is this is going to be a, a big. It's a big tournament, guys. Look at this lineups. Look at the lineups. Who who will be the winner? Who will be the cherry chosen grift champion? Who will be the Cinderella, the Griftorella? I think it's time to find out. The, the winners of the first round, guys. Let's do the winners of the first round here on Midnight Cherry TV. Get your beverage ready. Outer Pants and Jesus just done right. Uh, you know, professional hack. Hit that editing uh, in effect. I like it. But uh, let's, let's fire through this, guys. EVS versus Jabba. Uh, you know, I think we've got to go. We got to go EVS, guys. That's a that's a that's not going to be an upset. That's that's not going to be an upset, guys. Jabba, as as much as Jabba might be promoting the the one page comic, which is a, a quality grift, quality grift. I think that EVS is just that's he's not losing the first round. But uh, we got Queen Miki versus a uh, frog tony that's a tough matchup guys let's go on to the next one we're gonna fire through some of these we'll come back to them a uh, ptp versus huerta guys boy that's that's an established name that's an established name versus uh ptp but i think this is going to be a, a huerta huerta win i don't think ptp gets out of the gets out of the first round in this one guys uh we got the uh, ripoff verse versus row i think row wins that one Setting up a Ro Huerta matchup. Exciting second round matchup right there with Ro versus Huerta. Uh, Matt Barr versus the Brightweisers. Boy. And that is Pro Comics Gate Matt Barr. If you don't if you don't remember from the earlier bracket. 
Pro EV. Oh boy. I think we gotta we gotta go Matt Barr, guys. Matt Barr uh, Barr is the winner here. Uh, then we got uh, Dario Vito. Dario Vito here first round matchup. I gotta gotta say goodbye to Dario Vito setting up a Vito Matt Barr second round. Who will make the sweet 16? Matt Barr versus Vito, guys. This is, this is gonna be a real tough one here. But uh, let's see, let's see. What we got we get this giant piece of paper. Matt Jarbo versus uh, Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers. Boy, that's a tough one. You know, I got, I gotta go, uh, I gotta go, Jeremy. Now we got Mark Brooks versus Malin. I think Malin wins that hands down. I think Malin is gonna be your big time, big time grift champion. And now we have. Uh, Let's see. Let's go back to Miki Frog Tony. That is a tough one, guys. That is a real tough one. But I got I got to go Frog Tony. I think Frog Tony has a kind of a an interesting grip. He was kind of anti EVS. Now he's pro EVS, and now he will battle EVS uh, in the next tournament here. Let's see. Let's see. Whoo, boy. We got our we got our first round we got our second round matchups here guys EVS versus Frog Tony Huerta versus Roe Matt Barr versus Vito that's a huge that's a huge second round matchup that's a huge second round matchup I think most people would agree with that uh, and then uh, Jeremy Geeks and Gamers versus Malin that's a that's also a pretty exciting matchup you know they're both both the friends with Anna uh, who's also on this matchup let's see what let's see what the uh, the chat is now the first the first uh, Quarter of the bracket is done. A wiggle easy winner, row easily. Uh, PTP and his Chinese toys were not enough. Uh, Bright Wisers, yeah, the Bright Wisers kind of got out of here quick. Big Steve, that is that is true. Uh, Matt Jarbo, Redemption Arc. Let's see. We got uh, Michael DJ. Let's see what this guy's got to say. Uh, anti and pro from the same guy. Amazing. It's like bel belting both black and red at roulette. You break even until green shows up. I mean, I'm I'm pretty anti comics gay guys. I'm I'm myself, but you know, if, if, I don't know. You're, I don't know which person you're talking about. If you're talking about me, I, I don't know who the, who the person you're talking. About. I'm, I'm unfamiliar. We got uh, <laughs> Tree. I was saying, who writes on the wall like this? Uh, man, that's tough. Frog Tony. That is a tough one, guys. Frog Tony. Uh, it is it is a tough one, but let's take a look at the next bracket. The next bracket here uh, in this this first round of, uh, of CG tournament, trying to catch up with Wiggle Wiggle. He's already completed the first round. So trying to catch up with them. Uh, JDA versus Risey. It's a sad day for Risey fans, guys. That's not even a competition. Uh, as much as we all love Risey, uh, he just cannot beat JDA in a grift a grift tournament. There's just no there's no way around it. If it was a drinking tournament. Or uh, who could who could be, you know glass somebody in the face with a bottle better? I think Risey would win handily. Wrestling knowledge, there's there you know anime knowledge. I think there's a lot of things that uh, Risey would probably beat JDA in. Uh, Fraga versus Shane. Wow, that is a that's a big time first round matchup. I think you guys got to agree. Eight nine Fraga versus Shane. Whew. Boy, let me think about this. Yeah, sorry to Risey. Poor Risey says, you know, that's that's the that's the you know the fact that he's even in the tournament is is a testament uh, to the uh, the shit storm that Risey uh, creates in people, uh, which I enjoy. I personally enjoy Risey as uh, as one of those one of those great ones. Frag of Shane, I gotta go, boy. You know, guys, I gotta go Frag. -a. You know, this guy hasn't been around. Uh, we got to go Fraga versus Shane. That's kind of a bit of an upset. I think Shane probably could could uh, be in the in the second round easily had he not gone against. You know, just Shane is just kind of he's one of those guys. You know, if Yanzi Yanzi would be like probably a six seed in this guy. Yanzi would be like a five six seed. Next big matchup here: Dillard versus Doug Tenable. Earthworm Jim guys, uh, Doug Tenable versus Dillard. Uh, boy, oh boy, that's a tough one, guys. You know, people people like the Doug Tenable. They uh, they don't like him. They think about the grift. I got you know I got to put this down for a minute. I got to think about it. Ooh, good matchup. Yeah, good matchups right here. Mm. Boy, that's a tough one. You know, guys, this is going to be the uh, the twelves five seed upset special. We're going Dillard. 
We're going Dillard, guys. Uh, Dillard is 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 on to the round of 32. The round of 32. Uh, actual fandom versus Liam. That's a that's a sad day for actual fandom. He's not gonna have any chance against Liam. A uh, Werner Ryan Palmer versus Count Book. Holy shit, that is a tough matchup. Wow, oh wow. That is a difficult. That's a difficult matchups. Wow, word nerd. Word nerd Ryan Palmer versus Compo Cut. That is a that's a huge matchup. I think we're gonna come we're gonna come back to this. We're gonna come back to this. Whew. Okay, side right versus Mike S. Miller. Guys, I, I gotta go cider hype. I gotta go cider hype. I, this has got to be the upset. This is the upset bracket right here. We got a twelve, a thirteen, a fourteen, possibly. Uh, this is this is a big bracket, big bracket upset here, guys. I gotta go put cider hype over Mike S. Miller. I think Mike S. Miller, while grifty, uh, I feel like uh, you know. You know he's a grifter. It's 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 obvious. I think with cider hype, you, you want to think he's not a grifter, but he is. It's 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 a tough it's a tough call. I think that's a big. This is a huge upset right here, guys. This is a huge upset. Uh, you know who can Dillard or cider hype be this year's grifterella? Make a grifterella run into the Sweet Sixteen? We don't know. We got look. We got JDA Fraga and Dillard Liam. Dillard versus Liam. The upset minded Dillard versus kind of the complacent. Champion known as Liam. Captain Finney versus, versus Critias. This is a this is a coin flip, guys. I think Critias is uh, your old school uh, grifter, but uh, boy, Captain Finney. Captain Finney is kind of a modern day. You know, I boy, I think this is an upset, guys. I think this is a Captain Finney. Over Critias now, of course, Critias. I mean, I think he's a major grifter. Is a seven seed. He's a seven seed. He's clearly in the top top, you know, top thirty two of grifters in this tournament. But uh, Captain Finity, I think there's just something about him. There's something about the uh, the the sort of uh, where is he going? Where is he going? Where, what's the what's the top level that uh, Captain Finity could reach? And look at this two versus fifteen seed. Two versus fifteen seed guys. We got. Uh, Katie did versus Dark Grift. Now, Dark Grift, I heard, got upset at this whole tournament. I'm pretty upset about it. Pretty angry guy. I would be too if I was a bartender that lived in New Jersey and my best friend was a pedophile in Boston, uh, like Vic King. Let's never forget, guys. Let's never forget the Dark Grift's best friend on the internet was Vic King. Robert Kincaid pedophile. Let's, you know, it, whether, whether he's turned against him or not, let's not remember that for five, six years he was his best internet friend. And for that reason alone, Katie did out of the tournament. Let's uh, let's put Dark Rift on there, guys. Dark Rift versus Captain Finity. Cider hype. Let's see who's Cider Hype's gonna gonna fight in this one, guys. Whew. I gotta go Wordner, guys. I gotta go Wordner. Now, see Wordner. You know, as much as Compo Cut is a grifter, you know he's not really. Nobody takes him serious, you know, and I think word nerd, he takes himself seriously. And I think that's the difference, guys, is, you know, nobody takes comic book cut seriously, nor does he take himself seriously, I think. You know, I think comic book cut knows he sounds like that and that he's ridiculous. But uh, but I think that uh, but word nerd, you know, it's just it's just the confidence in himself that he's a he's a good rapper. He's a good parent. He's a good father. He's a good comic creator is just so strong he's so confident in himself that that sometimes you know it's like in basketball it just some, sometimes it's just you just have to keep shooting you got to keep shooting and hope it's going to go in you got confidence in yourself you know you quarterback you miss that throw you got to come back and throw it again and i think Werner has that drive i think Werner has that drive Werner cider this is a huge matchup captain finity dark rift uh, dillard liam jda Versus Fraga. Whew, 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 whew. Let's let's take a look at the next the next bracket, guys. This is going to be even more interesting. Wiggle is in the next bracket. Let's, let's put this down for a minute. Let's uh, take a look in the chat here. 
Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, whew, yeah, what an upset. Uh, we got people are saying crazy. Uh, Chris never come back. Chris never came back. Sky's the limit. Uh, boy, Darker would be cheered up if he won the tournament. I think it's a possibility. Uh, DG is the Griftorella for real. You know, but a two seed, can a two seed really be a Griftorella? I think, you know, he he's a bit of a favorite in this. Uh, in certainty. Uh, nine problems in a dream. Word nerd knows he's the best. And that's why he's so dangerous in this tournament. Uh, Garfield's Bavard Adventure said Jay's going to win it all. I think JDA, uh, you know, let's, let's look ahead, guys. Let's look ahead here. You know, I think if you do look at this, JDA is going to have to fight Prague. He's going to fight the, he's going to battle the winner of Dillard, Liam. I think that, that could be tough. But I think if Liam can 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 stay focused and uh, and beat Dillard at the grift, which I think he's doing, then I think he's going to be a little too tired. I think he's too tired to outgrip JDA. It's hard to outgrip JDA, especially a strong competitor like Liam. Uh, Werner Cider, that's two upsets. That's an 11 14 fighting to get in the Sweet 16. Werner or Cider is, is going to be a strong candidate for a Griftorella run. You're talking about a, an 11 seed, a 14 seed. You know how far are they making it in the tournament? But let's let's put that down. Let's let's just see. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> don't underestimate Robert Kincaid. Uh, you can never underestimate Robert Kincaid. He, he of course is. Uh, let's sneak peek Robert Kincaid battling uh, Vic King. I mean Vic King battling Vaughn. Battling Vaughn. I think that's gonna be an easy win for Vic King. Let's uh, take a little bit of a, of a break here. Mm. Almost out of drink, down to the last remnants, the leftovers here. But let's let's start at the uh, let's start at the bottom and work our way back up here. With the the small bracket here. Uh, put knock some things over here at the studio. Get the giant and bracket tournament here. Uh, we got your boy Zach. Uh, versus uh, Dean Kane versus after Dean Kane. I think uh, I think you got to put your boy Zach is going to win that one. I think that's a, that's an easy win. A uh, big eight nine challenge right here, guys. Uh, Riley versus Mint Salad. Who's going to fight it out? Uh, you know, of course, I believe Riley does beat Mint Salad, but does she? Does he in this tournament? I don't think so. I think. And one of the one of the stranger upsets, I think, mint salad, uh, also known as jizz salad, is uh, is an upset. You know, upset minded nine eight seed. I think a nine eight seed upset right there. Uh, mint salad upsetting Riley. I think in a, in a in a in a role reversal, uh, as they may play out on their OnlyFans account. Uh, I think uh, I think mint salad will beat Riley. I think uh, I think. Uh, that's the twist, of course. Uh, yeah, Outer Pangea says he beats her up in real life, LMAO. Yeah, we don't know how that works. We don't know what happens there. But I think in this Griff tournament, it's an upset. Let's see, we got Kai Mark versus Doug Ernst. That's a tough one, of course. Uh, that's, a, that's a battle of America versus communist. Who has the better Griff? And, of course, America Doug does. Doug E. A 5-12, a solid 5-12 win. You're just kind of chalk. Chalk a little bit so far, guys. Uh, Vic King ver versus Vaughn. We got to go. We got to go Vic King, guys. Uh, Robert Kincaid, known pedophile Vic King. Uh, not only a grifter, but also the best friend of Dark Griff Comics. Uh, Oz Arts versus Sheila Aliens. Oh, boy. You know, I, I got to say RIP to Oz Arts. Uh, it was fun while we knew you. You, you had a powerful grift. You were friends with a lot of top grifters at the time. Um, you can float, but I, I just think Sheila is the pedigree um, of just different tournaments. She's she's just you know she's a she's a grifter at her heart, and that's really the key there, guys. Uh, Al Alazmat versus Tug again. R.I.P. Alazmat, guys. I'm sorry, Alazmat. Tug has uh, has upset you. Now now I like Alazmat. Alazmat's probably one of the you know, I don't like any comic book creators, but a last man's, you know, an okay guy, it seems like. Uh, but Tug, Tug is just a top-level grifter. Look at these tournaments, guys. Doug Ernst, 
uh, versus Vic King. Your boy Zach versus Mint Salad. Who, who's gonna, who's gonna lick more, more cum? Uh, your boy Zach or Mint Salad? The both have experience at uh, not only licking, licking jizz off of surfaces, uh, but also using it for a grift. So who's gonna win? That's gonna, that's a tough matchup. Jeez, please. And of course, Doug Ernst versus Vic King, America versus a pedophile. Who can be a better grifter? Uh, whew, tough one, tough one. Uh, Sheila versus Tug. You know, can can Tug turn her out like uh, like he did Lola? Can Sheila manipulate Tug like she has various men in her life? I, I just think that's a, that's a huge matchup. That's a huge matchup. Sheila Tug. We got uh, Piper versus Jesse. Oh boy. Piper versus Jesse Milestone. That's that's a tough one, but 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 with the recent uh, you know new ethnic boyfriend now Jesse Milestone, she's kind of she looks for the ethnic boyfriends to, to get points for her clout, her internet clout. Uh, and I think we I think Piper. That's not you know I don't think she's going to get through Jesse. I don't think she's going to get through Jesse. And finally, we got uh, Vicky versus versus Anna. Now you know. If you had told me a couple of days ago this was a matchup, I think I think Vicky could have given you a run for the money. I think Vicky is a plucky underdog uh, that that can can outwork outwork a lot of people like a like a rabid dog. Vicky verse, I think she's uh, you know she can. Uh, I think she could have she could have won, but Anna with her recent C two E two grift experience, uh, lying about diversity and all that, I think I think Anna is a Top grifter guys. So let's go. Anna versus Jesse Milestone. Sheila versus Tug. Doug Ernst versus uh, Vic King. Mint Salad versus your boy Zach. This is a this is a strong bracket. This is a strong bracket up bracket right there. Of uh, oh boy, wow. Your boy Zach versus Mint Salad. Sheila versus Tug. This is getting good, guys. This is getting really good. I gotta say the matchups are. Coming together, and that's why you re-see stuff, guys. That's why you see things properly, like in sports. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on in the chats. Chats here. Of course, uh, JDA has a grift that makes EDS jealous. Uh, JDA's grift is just, uh, boy. Flame, congrats to uh, Daddy Ethan again. It's a chance. I think it's special. Special Olympic section, says uh, Manticore. But this is this is good, guys. Poor Vaughn, he didn't deserve that. Says Manticore. Uh, Tug Tug has some high quality griffs. Lacks sincerity though. He's willing to knows he's willing selling BS. Uh, Tug has game. I agree. Tug has some game. Uh, purity of a teenager with downs. <laughs> uh, boy, let's see. Define clout. Uh, Vicky's a street baller. Yeah, Vicky's like a street baller. Vicky, Vicky verse, you know, might elbow you, you know, in the in the in the in the ribs uh, as she sneaks around for a steal or an assist or whatever. So, uh, but she does not compare with the big boys. That is true. That is true. I don't think Vicky cannot compete with Anna, especially with the current diversity grip. Anna, Star Wars, Star Wars girl. Anna loves a good. Um, a good diversity grift. I don't know if you're aware of that. She loves loves the uh, the diversity grift. And last but not least, we have we have the final bracket guys. Let's get in. Let's get in and look at this guy. Yellow Flash versus Wiggle. Yellow Flash versus Wiggle, guys. I'm sorry, Wiggle Wiggle. But uh, but Yellow Flash is is just too strong a one seed. This is not the year. This is not the year for a for a one seed to be upset by a 16 seed. This is the year for a one seed to really make make a strong run, make a strong push uh, to, to be a champion, to reclaim uh, championship, uh, the taste of the taste of victory from a long uh, long history of losses as being a grifter. But uh, yeah, Outer Pangea Wiggle didn't stand a chance. It's an extremely successful grifter. Yellow Flash is. So uh, let's see. We got Wheelers versus RGE. Whose degenerate comic will reign supreme? And as much as we love to, to make fun of the Wheelers, they've been around a bit. As much as Wiggle Wiggle and uh, Wheelers little uh, back and forth was entertaining to me. I, I just think RGE, RGE with the with the lolly con sort of uh, degenerate child animated uh, 
uh, sex degenerate shit. I think uh, it sets up a nice yellow flash raging golden eagle battle in the second round. We got the graded point five versus Eric July. I think I think that's an easy Eric July. You know, I think anybody putting money on this, you have to look at Eric July as, as a quality uh, run. I think, you know, Eric July is kind of, uh, he's moving his, moving his way up the grip charts, as I would say. The grip rankings. We got uh, Kumalot versus Micah. Boy, oh boy, that's, I hate to say it, guys. That's a motherfucking upset. Kumalot, you know, Kumalot doing all the car stuff. That is quite, that's a unique kind of grip. Now, Micah, he had the, he had the lockdown looking like a potato. Uh, you know, working for Russian television, Russian news. But uh, Kumala with the NASCAR tie-in, you're, you're helping EBS, a number, a, a level one, one-seated grifter, just uh, elevating their game. So you're almost like a feeder, a feeder team to some degree, but it's it's taught you a lot of lessons in the, in the skills of grifting. Uh, let's see. Uh, RG is a bigger degenerate. Yeah, Kumala, Kumala. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Kumalot wrecks cars for money. Exactly. Uh, and I think that's what Kumalot won. Then we got uh, we got Sweens versus Froggo. Which Frog knockoff will win, guys? And, and I got to say, that's a that's a strong win. Now, as much as I, I, I shout out to Wiggle for, for not getting his uh, things he paid for from, from Sweens, as much as much as that sucks, and you paid for something you didn't get, which is a grift. That's a grift that you've learned a lesson from. Frogo is grifting on his children. He's grifting. He's he was homeless. He's living in the woods. You know, he's he's living in a van by a Home Depot. But yet he stays strong. The comics gate. He he spends his last dollars and cents on comic books from Comics Gate, instead of providing for his family. And that, to me, shows a, not only a dedication, but a, a focus on a grift in the long run. Uh, I think Joe Frago is setting up a grift from years from now, when he's the only one left. He's grifting. So Joe Frago, a strong, you know, grifting off his children with, you know, a strong grift. We got uh, George Peter Gatsis versus Mandy. Now, of course, uh, they would never be around each other in real life. I think uh, George Peter Gatsis is too autistic there to hang out with Mandy. And uh, and Mandy, I honestly don't think has seen it outside in a long time. I think she just kind of, uh, you know, just sits and sits in that hovel, puts some makeup on, does her little uh, titty grift. Uh, but I, again, I think I think Mandy's going to win that. Setting up a strong frog on Mandy, second round. Uh, we got Gabe Altaib versus Nasser. Uh, you know, I think Nasser. I think you know, I think Nasser. He, he's let it, let it, he's let it, let a game slip, and he's not making it out of the first round, guys. Gabe Altaib is on to the second round. He's he's kind of you know he gripped it in, gripped it out. You know, working it, working it, guys. And then uh, Fanatra versus Cecil. I got to give that to Cecil. You know, as much as we all love Fanatra. Uh, you know, he, he. I don't think he could grift if he wanted to. I don't think he could. I don't think he could grift if he wanted to. Uh, but that is the first round, guys. We are finished. First round. Let's take a look at the chat here. Frogo wins hand down. Mandy. Uh, Kum Kum. A lot of people talking about. You know, Nass Nasser has been a terrible grifter lately. Uh, you know. Yeah, lunch stream in his car hasn't improved. Yeah, that is that is insane," says Garfield's uh, bizarre adventures. That is that is true. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know, praying Stankus gave us taking it to the big stage. Uh, there, there we go, guys. We're we're almost an hour streaming. Uh, got nothing left of my coffee. Nothing left of my uh, my clear liquids. We got all the fucking NBA shit around. No soliciting here, guys. But uh, but that is the that is the tournament, guys. That is the the CG grip tournament round one. Let's sneak peek. Let's sneak peek at the next round here, uh, and look ahead. Look ahead to the next uh, the next stream for round two. Uh, we got EVS versus Frog Tony. That is a great one. We got uh, Huerta versus Roe. 
War Campaign versus one of the guys they supported. Roe versus Huerta. That's a great matchup. We got uh, Matt Barr versus Vito, the alleged pedo. Also a good matchup there. Jeremy Geeks and Garglers versus uh, Malin. John Malin working the Ed Piscor Death Grift. That's a new one. That's a new one on me, guys. Uh, we got JDA versus uh, Fraga. I think that's going to be JDA all day. Uh, Dillard versus Liam. Huge matchup. Huge second round matchup. A uh, word nerd. Word nerd versus Cider. Another another massive matchup. Uh, Captain Infinity versus Dark Grift. Uh, I think Captain Infinity's got something special to him, but I don't know if he has enough to beat uh, Dark Grift. Then on to the other side of the bracket, we got Yellow Flash uh, versus Raging Golden Eagle. Best friends fight it out to see who can grift better. You know, we got, uh, let's see, we got Eric July versus Kuma Lot. That's an interesting modern day battle right there, grifters. Uh, we got uh, Joe Frago versus Mandy. Uh, Joe Frago, I believe, is a Mandy simp, if I'm not mistaken. So that should be an interesting little matchup. I think uh, a 6 3, 3 6 C, that's always could be, you can see how upsets happen. Uh, Gabe Altaib versus Cecil. Interesting little matchup there. Your boy Zach uh, versus Mincel. We're calling that the uh, the Jizz, uh, Jizz Liquor Challenge of the tournament. Your boy Zach versus Mint Salad. Uh, Doug Ernst America versus uh, Vic King Pedophile. Uh, best friend of Dark Earth Comics. Uh, Sheila Aliens versus Tug. Sheila Aliens a hot. Sort of hot uh, cind uh, Cinderella, Griptorella pick as a six seed. I think as a six seed to see, uh, boy, uh, upset the tub would be would be just huge. I think we got to look into that one, guys. And of course, uh, Jesse Milestone versus Anna. There it is. There is your final, your your round of thirty two. We're down to thirty two competitors uh, here in the Grift. CG Grift Pro Grift Re Cherry Tournament. Uh, great first round. <laughs> uh, you know, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, alleged. Uh, Vic King, not alleged. But uh, Vito is alleged. And that is the difference, guys. So there is the CG Grift Tournament, guys. Uh, let's let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on over here in the, uh, the casket. Let's see what's happening in the casket here. Let's see. We got tested by ashes in the in the casket, guys. So that means that we've done we've done uh, we've done tested by proud here, uh, redoing uh, Wiggles tournament uh, here at Midnight Cherry TV, and there is there is the round of thirty two. So of course, uh, in the chat, thank you for coming. If you're watching this on replay, let me know uh, in the comments uh, who you want to see. Uh, make it to the Sweet 16, the 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 sad, sad 16, guys, because they're the 16 best grifters of the modern era of today uh, that are stealing your money, stealing your attention. Uh, and, and, and really, anybody that's in the Sweet 16 really should be uh, put in a cage like an animal and never allowed to produce anything for anyone. Because they don't anyway, because they're grifters. Uh, but but again, round of 32. Thanks again, guys. And uh, we'll see you again here from Midnight Cherry TV.